Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Monster Tamer News, the segment on this channel where we go over the past week's developments in the world of monster taming. Now, we got some interesting stuff this week, but it is a little bit on the slower side overall in anticipation for the massive amount of updates and releases coming over the next couple weeks. That said, this week we do have some new Temtem news regarding both the Nintendo Switch and the upcoming update for Arbory, which will bring forth some major features. We've got confirmation that the Monster Sanctuary DLC is currently in a closed beta state and i've got some special news regarding that myself we have a brand new sky climbers trailer in anticipation for the upcoming alpha some new soul hackers info and a whole lot more now quickly before we dive in i am having to record this an extra day in advance so if anything happens on march 10th it will not be included in this segment but instead will be included next week this is due to some extenuating circumstances but other than that business as usual so sit back relax and let's dive right in All right, so first things first, we will get Temtem out of the way because we did expand upon this news in a separate video that came out yesterday. The developers have sent in their first Nintendo Switch submission. This does not mean that the game is going to suddenly pop up on Switch because there will be some back and forth and stuff to that nature, but we do know that the wheels have officially turned, which is definitely noteworthy. They've also mentioned that Xbox will be a lot easier to port, so there shouldn't be any hiccups on that front. They then mentioned the upcoming content update dubbed CU1, which will be the first patch in the Arbory cycle. This update will bring forth the Trading House, which is essentially the Temtem equivalent of the Global Trading Station, mounts that allow you to avoid wild encounters and explore the map on top of certain Temtem, Club Dojo Wars, which will essentially be these group fights for certain turf and more. I know there's a ton of people who are anticipating these updates and the Switch release, so it's good to see that the ball is rolling. All right, so next we got a really cool Sky Climbers Overworld trailer that comes with its own narration, so I'm just going to let it play for you guys. It's it's really cool. Just Just listen. Now, just a reminder, Sky Climbers will be launching its alpha on March 22nd. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, the Untamed Isles beta is going to be going live on March 17th, and this will be a closed beta, though from what I'm understanding, there will be an opportunity to show off what's sort of going on on the inside. Now, if you're watching this video on the 11th, then this would have already popped, but on March 10th, there's supposed to be an info dump of sorts that's going to go over everything that you need to know about the closed beta from the developers themselves. I'm more likely than not going to post a separate video going over this because I definitely want to know what we're going to be getting into and how the different waves of updates will add to the beta in and of itself. The game, if you don't remember, is that monster taming MMO with limb swapping and having its competitive scene being built in part by Wolfie, one of the Pokemon VGC champions. All right, so for those who don't know, Monster Sanctuary has some free DLC in the works dubbed The Forgotten World. Now, while they don't have any public gameplay to showcase as of right now, there is currently a closed beta test going on, meaning that it's decently along. Moreover, I will be joining some of the Monster Sanctuary development team to showcase some closed beta footage for you guys next week. We are currently aiming for Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not so you get notified when it goes live. If anything changes between then and now, I will make a community post to keep you guys updated. All right, so the Fair and Knight developer uploaded a combat showcase for the game on YouTube, and I would have totally missed this if not for Raffle and everyone else who contributes to the news in the Discord server. You guys are super helpful. Anyways, there's a lot to break down. It's like a five minute video, so definitely more than we can expand upon in this segment. But what I will say is that we know that you can spec your monsters as you wish, so there's no IV or EV system. Definitely good. And you know what? I'll show off a little bit of the combat here so you get an idea of what it looks like. Let's check Check it out.
Okay, so we got a ton of Soul Hackers information for the upcoming Soul Hackers 2 title, and this includes a general synopsis of the plot, which will take place sometime in the near future and apparently 25 years after the first installment, if I'm reading that correctly. We also get more insight into each of the characters. I don't want to expand on this here. Character synopsises are fun, but we'd be here forever. So I'll probably make a separate video on that too. Tons of information to break down. But basically, it looks like you're going to be playing as some electronic life form and teaming up with other people and demons in order to essentially stop the apocalypse. There's a ton of new screenshots that were accompanied with this release, which you have been seeing on screen. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video expanding on this. I figure we'll do it sort of casual, sort of read through the article, give you guys my thoughts, reactions, and stuff like that. We'll just have a good time with it. Okay, so next we're going to be moving into the rapid fire segment of today's video for the updates that do not require lengthy explanations. We got a lot of new monsters this week, including but not exclusive to ones for Gremlin's Tale, Abomination, Disc Creatures, and Cassette Beasts. We also got some ongoing Kickstarters and more. Speaking of which, we got our two main monster taming Kickstarters going on right now. The first is Prime to the Void, which is currently overfunded and ending soon, so don't miss out. Same goes for Guild of Dragons. Both Kickstarter campaigns will be linked below alongside in-depth showcase videos for each. Endo Drive had its first post-launch update, which brings forth some bug fixes and a new area named the Alder Mines. There's also a new mythical battle as well. Here we get to see some concept art for what the capture devices in Buddymon will look like. Pretty cool. We get a preview of the new Cubers map, a short clip showcasing the biomes for Asile. We got some new animations for Porcupod and Disc Creatures. Here we got a new gameplay clip for Mythcaller the Nightmare Shaman. We see the Power Strangers in Druggymon. We have a new Gremlin for Gremlin's Tail named Rept Toil. We have a new Abami for Abomination named Fryzard and Earth and lightning type, a new Ploxmon for Ploxmons named Fuzzle, and last but certainly not least, we have a new cassette beast named Puppercut. And there you guys go, another week has winded itself down with a lot of interesting information. Personally, really looking forward to this Monster Sanctuary DLC, and of course all of the upcoming releases this month, including the Untamed Isles Beta, Sky Climbers Alpha, and of course, we didn't mention it in today's video because there was no news this week, but that Coromon release. We've also got Rune Factory 5 coming this month, which has me intrigued, but I've never played a game in the franchise before, so we'll see. Anyways, all of that said, if you are a fan of monster taming games and want to stay up to date on everything happening within the genre, definitely subscribe to the channel because I put out new monster taming videos every single day. I've also got a Discord and Twitter if you do want even more monster taming content, as well as a Patreon with some pretty cool perks if I do say so myself. Speaking of which, special thanks to our patrons, especially our top tier backers, including Dark Persona, Jim Hamilton, and Steel Case. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.